Hello, this is Tim from Woodward Builds, and this is my process for attaching breadboard ends. First, you measure out your markings for your dowels. I use my speed square for this. Then I use my doweling jig, making it flush with the end of the boards, and my doweling jig drill bit to make a mark. Then I went by with my awl to make the mark more pronounced. Then I use my Forstner bit to drill out the holes for the mortises boring out the holes a bit on the breadboard inside for the loose joint. Then I repeated the process on the tabletop end, again using the dowling jig flush with the end to line up my markings and the drill bit as a center point. Then I used the awl to just make it a little more pronounced for the Forstner bit. Try to make it as steady and straight as you can here. There is a little bit of room for play since you're pouring out the holes on the other end. Now as you can see you have some nice mortises and the dowling jig helps keep everything centered and aligned. Now you're just going to take your dowels or your tenons and do a dry fit to make sure everything lines up and to make sure you drill the holes straight. As you can see here we have a nice straight joint we're using 5 8 inch oak dowels here. Now to continue on with the dry fit process, put on your breadboard in and make sure that everything lines up. You should have a snug fit on the tabletop side with a little bit of a looser fit on the breadboard inside and this is what allows for the wood movement. Used a wood block here to help protect the end a bit. I don't have a wood mallet yet. And as you can see here, we have a nice dry fit with the breadboard end. Everything centered and aligned. Now that the dry fit is all done, I'm going to just take some time and pull those tenons out. I believe I cut these about maybe an inch and a half. A little length. And uh, I'm very lucky that my home center sells these hardwood dowels. They, they really come in handy and they sell them in all different sizes. Okay, hopefully we've made it this far and everything is lining up for you. Now we're in for the fun part, the glue up. You want to start applying a liberal amount of glue on the tight end, which will be your tabletop side, and insert the dowels. Again, the tabletop side is going to be the tight end. You'll want to apply glue in all the holes on the tight end and the center dowel to help lock everything down. Now at this point you can attach your breadboard in. No glue on the breadboard inside. This is what allows for the wood to move. And by applying the glue on both sides of the center joint, it's going to help everything stay locked in place. Okay, finishing touches here. Use a quarter inch dowel and a forstner bit located in my tenons and drill the hole halfway into the tenon for the dowel. I'm only use glue at the top of the dowel, not into the tenon. I can use a flush trim saw to make everything even and smooth. So that is it guys. A quick tutorial to show you that you don't need high-end power tools to complete a task. A ruler, a pencil, and a little bit of ingenuity will get the job done every time. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I would love you to like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what the process is that you do for your breadboard ends. And if you're over on Instagram, go check me out at woodward underscore builds. I have a ton of fun over there and I'd love to interact with you. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys have an awesome day.